From space, it shimmers, a jewel of the ocean. A sprawling tapestry of life, visible even from such a distance. It's the Great Barrier Reef, the largest living structure on Earth. Stretching over 1,400 miles, it dwarfs human creations. But its true wonder lies beneath the surface. Imagine a city teeming with activity, bursting with color and life. Now, plunge beneath the waves and you'll find the coral reef. It's a metropolis unlike any other, a vibrant tapestry of life in constant motion. Fish of every shape and size dart through coral formations, their scales shimmering like jewels. This is a world of constant movement, a symphony of life conducted by the ocean's currents. Here, amongst the coral branches, life finds a foothold. Tiny creatures no bigger than a grain of rice work tirelessly. These are the coral polyps, the architects of this underwater realm. And what a realm it is. From the smallest shrimp to the largest shark, the reef teems with life. It's a delicate balance, yet it thrives, a testament to the resilience of life. Let's dive deeper into the heart of this underwater metropolis. Picture Times Square, but instead of taxis, you have schools of fish, their scales flashing like chrome. The hustle and bustle here isn't the sound of traffic, but the snapping of shrimp, the grunts of groupers, and the chirps of clownfish. Look closer, and you'll see the residents of this city are as diverse as they are fascinating. There's the parrotfish, a flamboyant fellow with a beak-like mouth, crunching on coral and creating sand. And the octopus, a master of disguise, blending seamlessly with its surroundings one moment, then flashing brilliant colours the next. Each resident has a role to play, a niche in this underwater society. The cleaner Rasa sets up shop like a miniature car wash, picking parasites off larger fish. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement, a reminder that even in the fiercest competition, cooperation can thrive. And then there's the coral itself, the foundation of this underwater city. It's easy to mistake them for plants, but they're actually animals, millions of tiny polyps working together. They build the reef brick by brick, or rather polyp by polyp over generations, creating the very structures that support this vibrant ecosystem. Talk about teamwork. Life on the reef is a delicate dance, a constant struggle for survival. But the creatures here are masters of adaptation. Take the cuttlefish, a master of camouflage. It can change its skin color and texture in a flash. And then there's the pistol shrimp, a tiny but mighty creature. It snaps its claw to create a cavitation bubble, stunning prey. Talk about packing a punch. But it's not all about hunting and hiding. Some creatures have found more cooperative ways to thrive. The clownfish forms a symbiotic relationship with the sea anemone. The anemone provides protection, while the clownfish keeps it clean. It's a win-win situation. And let's not forget the cleaner shrimp. These industrious crustaceans pick off parasites and dead skin. It's a vital service keeping the reef's residents healthy. Section 4. A Reef's Worst Nightmare but even in this paradise, there are threats. The ocean's currents, once a source of life, are changing, carrying with them the consequences of a warming world. The water grows warmer, more acidic, and the coral, stressed and vulnerable, begins to bleach, losing its vibrancy, its lifeblood. It's a bleak picture, but it's not the whole story. Even in the face of adversity, hope remains. Scientists are hard at work, studying the reefs, searching for solutions. They're discovering reefs that are more resilient, able to withstand the changing conditions better than others. These super reefs offer a glimmer of hope, a testament to the adaptability of life. But they can't do it alone. We, the human race, have a role to play. We must reduce our carbon footprint, curb pollution and manage our fisheries sustainably. The future of the reefs, and indeed the health of our planet, depends on it. Section 5, Hope on the Horizon. The good news is that efforts are underway to protect and restore these underwater treasures. Scientists and local communities are joining forces, transplanting healthy coral fragments onto damaged reefs like gardeners tending to a delicate ecosystem. It's a slow and painstaking process, but the results are encouraging. Imagine a world without coral reefs. Our oceans depleted of life would become barren wastelands. 
the delicate balance of our planet would be thrown into chaos. We cannot let that happen. We must act now, while there's still time. The future of coral reefs rests in our hands. Let us choose to be the generation that turned the tide, that restored these underwater cities to their former glory. Let us be inspired by the resilience of the reef, its ability to adapt and thrive even in the face of adversity. Let us work together to ensure that these underwater wonders continue to amaze and inspire generations to come. The time to act is now.